Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from pro, college basketball, UFC, MMA, and more. You always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. With live betting options, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. Bet Online is truly the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and receive a 50% off welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use your promo code BLEAV, B L E A V, to receive your awards. Bet Online. Dot AG, where the game starts, was a proud sponsor of the Boss Man Show on your radio. Boston man, show it Keith Bouchard here, Louisiana Monroe Warhawks head coach. Coach, how you doing, man? All down in Monroe, Louisiana. That good food down there, man. <laughs> had some of that good food last night, actually. Uh, at a, a radio show here in town at, at, at a restaurant, had a little gumbo uh, last night, and then. Uh, but no, nah, we're, we're we're doing fine here, and uh, weather's good right now, so uh, everything's good. Well, coach, I'm gonna tell you. Happy bloody bl- birthday to your coach. My mom's birthday is the ninth. Yours is the tenth. So happy bloody birthday to your coach. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Uh, getting on up there. Uh, I feel it sometimes these sometimes these day, these days, but uh, I appreciate it. But uh, I think these kids definitely would would keep keep you a little bit younger there. Though, wouldn't you say, coach? Do I now? Get them out the kids. Would they, they keep keep keep, keep you younger? Yeah, these kids. Oh, no, yeah, no question. You know, being around young people is is uh it does keep you younger. And uh, you know, uh I've had to uh since I'm older, uh I've had to change with the times, you know, through so many years. And uh uh I tell my guys all the time, there ain't no way y'all could have played for me 20 years ago. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I and, hear uh, that. <laughs> And so, uh, but no, it, it, uh, I've enjoyed the, you know, changing with them, changing with the times and, and, uh, you know, trying to help and mold, uh, young athletes today. It's kind of funny, Mitch, I was going to ask you about, about that later in, in the interview here, but I'm going to once you brought it up, I'm going to ask you like, how has the game changed for you, uh, since you got into coaching and how have the young men changed who you coach since you got into this business? Well, uh, you know, some parts of uh, the game, the game itself, uh, hasn't changed in terms of, uh, you know, we're scouting games, uh, preparing for games. You know, uh, I still think about things that I used to think about 20 years ago when we're preparing for people. But but it has changed in other aspects, like, you know. Uh, back in the early, I'd say early 2000s, uh, you know, everybody had a big guy or tried to have a big guy or two that were low post players, you know, and and couldn't shoot it, you know, but boy, they could rebound it and you could throw it in there to them and get fouled. And, and uh, you know, a lot of that was going on back then. And today, you don't have hardly any of that going on. You know, the, uh, the post players are all, uh, you know, space to floor guys, you know, and, and oh, every now and then somebody has, you know, a good low post player, but uh, that, that part's really changed. And, you know, you even look in the NBA, how that's changed, you know, uh, as well in the NBA. And, and uh, so the game's really changed in, in, in that respect, you know, and I find myself uh, and I'm sure other coaches do because of, you know, in recruiting, you're looking for big guys that got some skill, you mm-hmm. know, and, and back in those days, 
I didn't care about skills as long as they were big and tough, you know? <laughs> and uh, so that that's changed a lot. And uh, uh, as far as the kids, they have changed, you know? Uh, and, uh, you know, you got mental health awareness going on uh, in our society and not just in sports, but in society. And uh, kids today have uh, a lot more pressure, uh, uh, social pressure on them, you know, they do. and and so, you know, I, I've had to change in that respect, you know, and in, in that uh, be mindful. I try to be mindful of uh, their thoughts and their their uh, uh, their feelings uh, uh, around and within the basketball program. And and uh, I think that uh, you know uh, maybe in the old days you didn't have to worry about that as much much and. Uh, uh, or, or we 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 just didn't think about it, you know. I mean, back then it was, you know, do what I tell you to do, and mm -hmm. <laughs> and don't ask me why. Now it is they ask me why, and I got to explain it to them. And so, you know, uh, that that part is, but it's been a good change, you know. And and uh, really over the last ten years for me, maybe six, seven, you know, uh, you know, I have a. Uh, I have a uh, I have a master's degree. A long time ago, I got a business degree as my bachelor's. And, Same here, coach. Oh, Same really? Here. Good, good. Yes, yes. And uh, and then, but I have a master's degree in guidance counseling, and I've had to use that master's degree a whole lot, <laughs> you know, yes. uh, lately uh, over the last you know however many years, and and it's just different times, and and uh, you know, nothing wrong with it. Just just have had to change. No doubt, because I played football from 04 to 08. And I remember my in my freshman year, my sophomore years when Facebook came out in 05. Yeah. And even then 04 to 08, I had to worry about somebody coming to me saying, You played you, you didn't catch this ball today, you played horrible, you dropped this pass, you should have scored a touchdown, blah, 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 because it wasn't like it is today. Yeah. And I I, I know myself, coach. Back in when I was younger, I was a hothead. So <laughs> I might would have said some things I should have said on social media. And I would get, had to do some, some stairs because I saw somebody <laughs> back out but talking about what I'm doing. Can you guys get the football? Can you do it? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you mean, Coach. This is yeah. not playing when it's even like the kids today. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it is different. There's no, no, you know, these kids have grown up on these phones, you know, and, 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 uh, and, you know, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all of it. You know, it's it uh, it it's changed. It's saying it's changed society and it's changed sports. It sure has. No doubt. It, it, see, for me, coach, my dad is a coach. He's eighty two years old. He'll be eighty three years old this year. So he, this dude still has his legal pads out, writing notes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we watched the game. He asked me, "What what do I see?" I'm like, "Dad, I, I know what's going on. You gotta ask me. I, I'm well aware." <laughs> That's so, pretty good. He, he always said, he said, son, you should get into coaching. I said, I'm going to tell you, I said, coach, but I was with you. I don't have the tip of the coach. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to get angry if they don't, <laughs> don't do what I say. I'm going to get angry. So it's like, nah, I'm going to talk about the game because I, I understand it rather than trying to, you know, you coach it. So, but but yeah, like you said, coach, I, I, I love what, what happens. Is, like I said, my dad, all his players still call him this day and text him. He always tells me, you're, you're my biological son, but I am a bunch of sons besides you. Yeah, is, yeah. Like I, I get it, but it's like <laughs> seeing how all the guys love my father still his days. I know it makes you feel good as a coach to have your guys come to you as well. When well they no get married question. and go you know, have stuff, have babies and you're there for them. Well it's what's funny, I'm old enough now, uh I signed a kid in the fall uh who whose daddy played for me a long time ago. And so I got that going on a little bit, you know, that some of the players that played for me a long time ago now, you know, have children or uh, sons that are old enough to be recruited. And uh, uh, it's always it's always neat to go back in time with those dads, you know, and that uh, I coached so, you know, so many years ago. And you've been there 13 years, Coach. That's a long time to be in one spot. Talk about the longevity being in one spot that long. In this in this business, we both know there's always carousel going and also having an administration that's behind you and backs your vision all these years. Well, th let me tell you what I'm happy about being here. 
you know, first of all, I'm an alumnus here. I played here. I know I don't look like I played basketball, but I did. I played here from 1978 to 82. And after that, I was a graduate assistant coach here. Uh, the coach, my, the coach that I played for my senior year, a guy by the name of Mike Vining, uh, Mike Vining was the head coach here for 24 years. Uh, I, his first year was my senior year. Then I was a graduate assistant coach for him for two years. And then I left and then I came back as a, uh, assistant coach, full-time assistant coach from 89 to 94 for five years. Okay. And then I came back here 13 years ago as, as the head coach. And, you know, I've got some stops along the way. I was at Louisiana Tech for a long time, four years as assistant, nine years as the head coach there. I was at LSU for two years as an assistant. I was at Marshall University uh, for three years back in the late, late 80s. But a player here, then a grad assistant coach here where I, where I started my coaching career, full-time assistant. And then to come back here, for the last 13 years as the head coach, it, 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 it's really pleasing to me. I'm going to end my career here. And it, it's going to be, I'm I'm really at peace and glad that, you know, whenever I retire, that it's going to be at the place that I started at and mm -hmm. the school that I went to. My wife, I met my wife in college here. She's an alumnus here. All three of my kids have got degrees from this school. Uh, so a lot of history with me in this school and the fact that I'm going to, you know, one day be able to end it here where it all started for me. Uh, it, it's pretty cool. You know, it's not a national story, but it's a cute little story, uh, you know, in my world. And so I'm really happy about that. No, it's a national story, coach. This show's heard worldwide, coach. <laughs> we got 41 affiliates, coach, in the U.S. <laughs> and Canada. It's heard worldwide, coach. It's definitely an international story, coach. <laughs> <laughs> they would know about Keith Richard and, and the Monroe story for real. They would know about that, coach. And, well, what's it, funny is, is that about you know my career. I tell people sometimes. So in 1989, when I came back here as a full time assistant, it was the first time I was going to get retirement. And I was a young assistant coach, man. I had all you know. I had all these, you know, thoughts and uh, about the profession and. Uh, I can remember the retirement lady, uh, it was the first time I was going to ever be involved in retirement. And she said, look, there's two options. There's the old Louisiana state system, you know, and they got this new deal called ORP optional retirement plan. And I said, well, what's that for? And she said, well, if you think you're going to be in Louisiana for the next 30 years, you need to be going the old one. If you think you're going to go out of state or something, you need to get in this new one. And I said, lady, I'm gonna be in Kentucky. I'm gonna be an assistant at Kentucky in five years. Put me in that other one, <laughs> and and so I went in the other one, and look at my career. I've been in the state now over thirty years. I've been in Louisiana over thirty years. I should have gotten another one, and uh, oh, yeah. so uh, you know all, all the years, the the places that I mentioned to you, you know, it's all been pretty much all here in Louisiana, and uh, so it's been a local a local story for me, and it's been a good good story for me. So I've been to the airport of Monroe a few times. I had some friends in El Dorado, Arkansas. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Not I've far. been at the Monroe Airport more a few times to fly yeah. out of there, man. Yeah. Because yeah. we're, we're all big cowboy. I just say we're, we're big cowboy fans. Okay. We shouldn't say it out loud. We was the <laughs> Saints down there. But we was <laughs> big That's cowboy true. fans. They had a big win last night. You see, I'm in my Cowboys because Coach Davey and then the Crates. I didn't want to put on the stars. So I said, let me just throw the, the corner zip at the hat. Well, you should you should have. They played good last night. Played real good. Well, the thing is, Coach, they're not, they're not, they're not paying me for a sponsorship either. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> I keep that in mind, too. If Jerry Jones is part of the show, I have a little star every day. Uh, every day. Every day. There you go. Yes, indeed. And, and Coach, now you guys are four and two in some belt play. And it's a tough league. It's got tough with the realignment here. And talk, talk about how seeing the, the conference grow from what it, what it was to now with the new teams coming in there. Well, you know, as a as a league, obviously, we did it. We added those four teams, uh, you know, primarily because of football. You know, we have a, a, a 
our, our football conference, the Sun Belt, had some real success lately. Uh, you know, being right, just the conference right under the, the Power Five. They've done real well in bowl games and conferences, uh, you know, football conferences are expanding. There's been some more movement. And so it was primarily a football move. But what happened with the basketball is that, well, they brought four, you know, good basketball programs in, in the league as well. And you're talking about, you know, James Madison and Old Dominion and and Marshall and and uh and Southern Mississippi. And you know, all four of those teams uh have proven already uh, you know, they got they got good teams and good programs and the whole bit. So it's added just some more tough teams to a league that already year year in and year out is competitive, really competitive. The difference between maybe the Sun Belt and I don't know maybe some lower rated leagues is this: there's no every year there's no bad teams in in the Sun Belt. Even the teams that finish at the bottom, with record wise, they're not bad teams. They, it just means they lost a bunch of close games th that year. And the team that usually finishes at the top, uh, it it means they won a bunch of close games. But the, the difference between the top and the bottom at the end of the year, and this is almost every year that I've been in this league, it's this kind of conference. There's not really that much. There's no bad team. There's not much, there's not that much separation. And so we're starting off the league play right now. You can see it already. You know, everybody's just beating up on each other. And a lot of close games, lots of close games. And, uh, you know, uh, it's it's a very, very competitive league and we added four teams just added more to the mix doing the same thing so uh you know it's it's tough it, it, it's 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 such a good league mid-major league what ends up happening too is home court advantage becomes not so much home court advantage you know because mm -hmm. team can win on the road uh, uh a lot in this league and uh, uh you know every now and then there's there's somebody that branches out there and run, you know, runs away with it. Maybe Georgia state a couple years there had some really, really good teams with uh, Ron Hunter and, 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 you know, I think maybe Lafayette had a really good team one year and that uh, went through the league, but, but for the most part, you know, uh, very, very balanced, very competitive. Nobody's bad. Who wins the close games is going to have the best record. That's really what it's been. And coach, you said something I say all the time on this show, coach, is about it's possessions. It's those <laughs> tough plays, it's this execution. It's not talent, it's not coaching. It's literally <laughs> possessions. And possessions. how can we be maybe in film session, possession better tonight? Or yeah. in the first half, it wouldn't be it'll be an eight-point game rather than a four-point game. So I it's like you said, coach. I tell us all of my fans. I'm gonna get to say it, coach, because my fans didn't understand this. I say it all the time. College basketball is about possessions. It's very much about parity, it's older. It's possessions, not possessions. <laughs> no question about it. I mean, you know, uh, we're we're four and two, and and three of those four wins, uh, we're we're talking three or four possessions. That's it. Uh, and and we lost we lost one of our games possessions. I mean, uh, a missed block out, a missed block out on a rebound, uh, a, uh, a a get a foul. Uh, you know, a turnover, uh, all those things in particular late is is determining these games. You know, and uh, it's going on heavily throughout our league. And with the Sun Belt's profile getting bigger, coach, does it help you with recruiting wise as well? With the getting four new teams, the profile growing, does it helps you get more guys in the portal who say, "Hey, this may work for me. If it's good for you, it may work for them as well." Hey, I, I think there's no question that. Uh, you know, as as we move along, uh, you know, having this fourteen team league, it's a big league. You know, it's a big, it's a big league. Uh, it's something to sell. Yes, I do, and uh, I think that uh, uh, you know, obviously, you know, kids want to go where they can play, and they want to play in a good league. You know, and and when it, especially when uh, these kids, the transfer portal, they're transferring. You know, uh, either down or up. You know. Uh, the Sun Belt's got a nice ring to it. It's got it's got some uh, some pop to it, and adding the four teams does nothing but really really help us. 
and it also spans your reach for is you know vis of, of, of visibility. You got Virginia now, Mississippi, Texas, of course, Louisiana with you. So it's like I feel like you know the viability of the league is even more because you can get more people um to come play for you because they oh I may get back get back home maybe go go see my family see me play. So I know that for me, going to Tennessee State for me was about being close to Atlanta. Yeah, I, I didn't want to be too far from home. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know other people say that I had that same idea as well. Yeah, we're spread out pretty, you know. I mean, it says the Sun Belt, but we're we're, you know, all the way from Texas, all the way to North Carolina, you know, South Carolina, and everything in between. So that that covers a lot of ground, and uh, uh, I think that uh, that is going to help, or or has helped, and will continue to help. And you know, where I can go recruit a kid out of Georgia. You know, and say, hey, we, we're gonna have two league games here, and uh, uh, you know, you're gonna better see your family, and they're gonna better come watch you play there, and just, you know, go go over to Texas, and on and on and on. So, uh, I think that does help uh, everybody in terms of recruiting. And coach, you got a game the, tomorrow, uh, Thursday against Georgia Southern. Uh, Brian Berg, a friend of mine who does a good job down there. What about what's on film from his team, and uh, what you y'all have to do to beat them down there in Statesboro? Well, first of all, he's done a really good job, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, I think this year is a uh, – uh, uh, they've really played well. Uh, and uh, we had two really tough games with them last year, uh, a low a low possession game here in Monroe, uh, uh, four- or five-point game that they won, and then uh, played the last regular season game last year uh, – in uh, overtime, they they won in overtime. So we we we've had some really good matchups with them. Uh, I think we, in a way, kind of both play the same way. Uh, we defend uh, the same way, just in general, you know. Uh, and so that's made it for some good uh, games between uh, our school and and their school. And uh, you know they've got a uh, some returners that are uh, playing well for them, but they've added a few guys, you know that. Uh, are also playing well for them. You know, it's always been tough traditionally uh, to go to Georgia Southern, any, for everybody in our league, uh, for years, uh, to go down there and win. Yet we, and I don't really even know why, uh, here at ULM, uh, we've had some success uh, down there uh, over the years, you know, and and uh, or, or have played well and, and e even in losing, you know, and uh, so I'm hoping that's going to be the case again, you know, that uh, we go down there and play well and give ourselves a chance to hope it's a close game again, you know, and uh, and uh, because uh, I think there's just going to be a lot of those kind of games. And, uh, you know, if you can stay close, especially on the road like this, then then you hopefully you got a chance at the end. Possessions, a couple of possessions here or there. No doubt. And if you all played in Atlanta yet against uh... – State yet? Or no, no. Uh, we we don't go there this year. Uh, the way it works, I think Georgia Georgia State came to us already. Uh, but so I'm not going to get to see the new building. You know, I will say you're going to love the new building. That's what the everybody. Sports arena is gone. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> you're going to love the new building, Coach. It's very nice down there. It's a good spot. I'll talk to some of my guys about doing the MTE there. Like I think we should do an NTE that in Georgia, Georgia State's new place because it's just that nice. Yeah, I, I, so, I heard all the coaches that have been there uh, say it's really nice, really, really nice. Yeah, the sports arena, man, that's – I played high school games there. Did you? Yeah, so I'm like, no, nah, I'm good on the sports arena. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good on that. <laughs> you know, they say, people ask me, Coach, all the time, I said, JR, why didn't you go stay, go to school in Atlanta? I said, well – Clark and Morehouse, I've been in, in debt. Georgia State had no football. My grades were good enough to Georgia, Georgia Tech, so I was screwed. I had to go to Tennessee State. I had no other options, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Because they got football the year I graduated. This is the way they got football. Because I got to no wait. They had football mm -hmm. back in in 08. So, like, oh. it was, I missed it. I, I said, at that point, I missed it. So, like, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so I, had no, I had no choice, Coach. I had no choice <laughs> but to do that. I couldn't be indebted playing D2. Enjoy the yeah. tech. I couldn't get the grades. And 
day in the football, so I was screwed. <laughs> <laughs> but the football facility is nice too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so uh, they play at the old Brave Stadium. Right, right. So yeah. I remember going there to the World Series. I was, and I was a young dude, but they won't beat they beat the Indians. I remember yeah. see, I remember this place was a baseball for real. <laughs> I know. I know. It was serious baseball there for a while. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, I'm I'm happy to I, Atlanta's a good city for that. We have we have everything but hockey staff. Yeah. Yeah. Because our hockey team left and thank cause thank God for that. Cause when I go to house games, it used to be the, I, the, I used to be so cold. <laughs> I'm like the only sports. I'm like, I'm kinda glad I hockey team in town now. Kind of good at laugh that. Uh, I went to the, the last Hawks game I went to. Uh, this was when Paul Millsap played for the Hawks. Uh, you know, Paul played for me at Louisiana Tech. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so they were in the playoffs. This is when Paul was in his prime and uh, had those good years with, with Atlanta. And uh, I, I got he got he got me on the floor with him and and uh, got to go, you know, watch him play and that type thing. And uh, uh, so that's been my last time see the Hawks. Uh, then obviously Paul left and went to Denver and all that. And, uh, but Paul's got a, a, he, he lives in Atlanta. He loves it there, you know, and they, their homes there. And, uh, he built that facility. I don't know. It's called core four. Uh, yeah. He's got a place. I, I know about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He, 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 uh, he works out there and, and, you know, they, uh, have a workout facility there and, and that type thing. I took one of my teams one a year, uh, when we did play Georgia State to practice over there one one year and and uh, so I've been in Atlanta a little bit. Of course, we go to you know play in Georgia State every year and and uh, uh, you know I got to know Ron Hunter pretty good while he was at Georgia State. So I've been going down there getting my butt whipped at Tulane for <laughs> for the last couple of years. <laughs> he gives me some money, so I go down there and do that. And uh, but I enjoyed you know talking to him and that type thing. Well, Coach, definitely let's hope to see. Do you ever come to Lake Point? Mm -mm. You don't come to the Lake Point to recruit, recruit in the summertime? No, no, not really, no. Because I'm always at Lake Point in the summertime. I see all the guys come through there. Trying to find well, my, sisters, my sisters go. I haven't been there in a while. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. A lot of guys I know go there. I see a lot of coaches there trying to find players. I was like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and Ron Hunter, that's why Ron Hunter kind of brought him up. His zone is very unique. Very it, it has man principles to it, but even though it's a zone, I always find his zone to be very unique in how he plays it. And, and everybody knows he's playing the zone, but you still can't really pick, 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 figure it out. I told somebody the other day that the, the, the unique thing about his defenses is, is that a lot of people try to play a matchup zone. You know, so uh, it's still out. It's out there in the country. and But nobody has the commitment to it that he does. He Meaning that he it, it's his defense. He plays nothing else. He he's committed to it, whether they're winning or losing. And and so through that, uh, I think that you know his kids over time, uh, they believe in it. You know, and 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 uh, uh, it's it's been it's been something to to see and play against. To be honest with you, and and uh, he's done well with it. Coach, one more for you, Coach. Uh... When you're not coaching and coaching your guys, but you're with your wife and your children, what are your favorite things to do when you're not it, it, being a family man and being a coach? Well, I got grandkids now. Uh, that that just started, and so uh, we spending some time with. Uh, we got one here in town, and another one's down in Houston, and uh, but uh, spending time with him, you know, and and that's been a new experience for me and my wife. A great one, to be honest with you, is. Uh, to have uh, you know our first grandchildren and watching them, you know, change and from week to week and month to month and and doing things with them and uh, you know that's been uh, that's been our deal here really the last almost two years is 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 with them. Sounds good, with Coach. It's good to have you on the show finally for the first time. Hope to do this again with you down the road, Coach. Now I'll be looking out for hoping you all play good and get go to March Madness, man. I hope to do this again with you in March once you punch your ticket out there to go to the big dance, man. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, and uh, thanks for having me on. Anytime, Coach. You be safe, man. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right.
BetOnline remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from pro, college basketball, UFC, MMA, and more. You always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online with live betting options, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. Bet Online is truly the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and receive a 50% off welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, to receive your awards. BetOnline.ag, where the game starts, was a proud sponsor of the Boss Man Show on your radio. <laughs> 